Good morning, folks. All the journal articles on deck today will wait. We've got real space weather to hit today. We've had several solar flares overnight, including a long-duration X-class flare that has produced a coronal mass ejection that appears Earth-directed. Both the northern departing sunspots and the southern active region crossing past central heliographic longitudes were very active over the last 24 hours. We've taken more X-class and M-class solar flares, including a long-duration X-1 flare from the southern group. The flare flashing was so prevalent it almost doesn't stop, as you see here in 131 angstroms, and the atmospheric ionization signature of those flares was wrecking high-frequency radio communications in the eastern world the last several hours. Significant global electric circuit excitement occurred and is ongoing. The long-duration X1 event produced a CME that we will see here several times. Careful observation reveals the plasma release at the active region and around it in the shockwave produced by the ejection, rippling through the solar corona as the CME erupts. SOHO coronagraphs are updated this morning. At the end of this sequence we've got repeating here, you can see the beginnings of a full halo CME, indicating that Earth is directly in the line of fire of this blast. The sunspots are huge, northern group departing, but the southern group can still impact Earth for another day or two, and it continues gaining magnetic complexity. Later today, we'll update this event with the endless spirals, the full coronagraph images, and a forecast for the impact and resulting geomagnetic effects. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll be back this afternoon to update this morning's event, and then we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone